Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very amazing problem and a trick. It's force of uniform charge cylinder. Uh, so guys, uh, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And uh, guys, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, course of INPHO Foundation uh, and uh, for JE Advanced 2023 and advanced problem solving course for JE Advanced 2021 it's phase one we have covered uh, some time back and uh, the second part of it will be starting very soon and uh, advanced GTs for uh, JE Advanced 2021 in a special classes are happening uh, regularly so tomorrow uh, will be the test again another test will be there on uh, tomorrow so please tune in for it uh, it will uh, have some of the finest problems of uh, J physics and advanced course for J advanced 2022 in Hindi and English has started from 20th and 23rd of April and uh, guys you can access my theory courses which are last year's courses actually which are of advanced plus plus level for boosting your uh, J preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code Nathan sir and uh, for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again uh, so here is the statement of uh, this problem there is an infinitely long uniformly charged cylinder having volume charge density of rho the radius of cylinder is r what will be the electrostatic force applied by one half of the cylinder on another half per unit length so what we have to uh, calculate here is uh, force on this half of the cylinder applied by the rest of the uh, cylinder here. So concept wise we can uh, uh, find out here uh, electric field inside the solid cylinder it is integral E dot dA which is uh, Q inside by epsilon naught. So by using this I can take this Gaussian surface using symmetry here I will take this surface as a cylinder here and I'm taking the cylinder of length of X so I can see here the field is uh, radial for uh, line charges so similar force will be there for solid uh, cylinder also uh, similar field right so flux passing through this part is going to be zero flux passing through this flat surface also is going to be zero because uh, electric field will be perpendicular to area vector here uh, or you can say electric field will lie in the plane and flux will be passing through this curved uh, surface of uh, cylinder here you can say so i can write this phi curve is equal to e times area of that curved surface is uh, that is 2 pi rx and that will be equal to charge inside charge inside uh, will be density multiplied by volume of the cylinder which is pi r square x pi epsilon naught so when I simplify this, I am going to get uh, E is equal to rho r by 2 epsilon naught, which is uh, E is equal to rho r vector by 2 epsilon naught. So guys here just uh, pay attention to this form of electric field. So whenever a uh, similar type of field, wherever we are going to get, we can apply this trick, which I am going to explain uh, to you now. So here force calculation wise, I can take, uh, you can choose uh, any dq charge on this line or maybe you can take a uh, uh, cylindrical shell also radius r thickness dr both ways it will be same so df force on that dq charge i can write as uh, rho r by 2 epsilon naught times dq now uh, total force i can write rho by 2 epsilon naught times integral r dq now this definition is resembling the center of mass definition where we evaluate integral r dm so here we are having r dq so we can take the luxury here and uh, we can just replace this with uh, r cm times charge in the part where cm has to be calculated or we are going to calculate the force overall so uh, this force uh, expression will reduce to a very simple one r cm times q now if you see the top view it is uh, like half cylinder here so this cross section if i look at and they are like uh, made of many uh, uniform disc so i can take here from the top view it will appear like semicircular disc and we know the center of mass location of this that is going to be 4r by 3 pi and in different different elements everywhere this force is going to be in radial direction and uh, even if you take it like this you will see many components on different charge will be acting and overall field will be or overall force will be in this direction only 
so this f electric i can write rcm will be replaced by 4r by 3 pi and this charge q will be charged on the half of the cylinder i'm taking uh, we have to calculate this force per unit length so i'm taking length of l here so this charge q will become rho into pi r square uh, small l by 2 this will be the charge q when i substitute these values here i am going to get uh, rho by 2 epsilon naught rcm is 4r by 3 pi and this charge q on the part where force has to be calculated so rho into pi r square by 2 times l so f by l ratio very easily we are going to get rho square r cube by 3 epsilon naught this is going to be the final answer guys trust me if you try by a regular method another method uh, the standard method for this problem it will take at least two two and a half pages it's a very long problem so i'm sure now you are getting the idea of this and uh, you can exploit this uh, rcm dq uh, relation anywhere i'll take another uh, example of it and in the series of videos i'll uh, i'll discuss many problems where we are going to use these this shortcut trick and in one one two two lines you are going to calculate answers of those complicated problems so here another uh, example i'm taking force between two halves of uniformly charged solid sphere so i am going to take uh, here this charge dq and i know inside the solid sphere uh, the electric field is rho r by 3 epsilon naught so this force df is going to be dq times uh, rho r by 3 epsilon naught and you can see here rho by 3 epsilon naught times r dq kind of situation we are getting so i can write uh, this uh, integral r dq as rcm times q in the shaded part in this half we have to calculate so now here it's a solid hemisphere its center of mass will be at a distance of 3r by 2 from the center of the circle or center of the sphere so 3r by 2 and the q shaded will become uh, rho into volume of this part which is uh, 2 by 3 pi r cube so rho by 3 epsilon naught rcm is uh, 3r by 8 q shaded will become rho into 2 by 3 pi r cube and when you simplify you are going to get this answer as pi rho square r to the power 4 by 12 epsilon naught it's it's just one liner if you know this concept so i'll be bringing more such problems where uh, we are going to use this uh, trick and uh, if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it you will see many such problems in the coming time Thank you. Thanks for watching it.